Hello everyone, I'm Chuck, Chucky J, and I wanted to give you a first uh, look at what I'm doing to get ready for my iPad to come on Saturday. And the first thing, as you can see right here, is I'm going to get some free ebooks. So there's a lot of sites like this. The main one that you're going to want to go to is Project Gutenberg, of course. And uh, they have a wide selection, um, but th their site is, is, isn't quite as pretty as some of these other ones. And so you can find like the, the top books that you're going to want to have on a couple of these other sites. Like uh, EPUB Books was one of the first ones I found. So you can go in here, see here's one from Jules Verne right on the front page. Um, if you go down here, they've got some recommended ones. Hot downloads, as you can imagine, Alice in Wonderland is really popular right now. So I am going to go back up here to genres. And let's see here. Let's say we want a spy book. So like I said, these are all free. Um, so I, I have not really heard of any of these. Um, I think I'm going to try the secret agent. So I'm going to download the secret agent. So it gives you a little bit more information about what you're getting yourself into. That sounds like a pretty cool book. 241 pages. So you hit download EPUB. And there it goes. So then in the finder, what I'm going to do, so you can see I've already been downloading some stuff. There's Conrad Secret Agent. I'm going to take that and just drag it down here to iTunes and drop it on there. And now it should, well, let's see. Let's see if I hit it open what it'll do. Good. There we go. So it, you probably saw there, it tries to go out and get some album art. So now if I go up here to books, you'll see what I've been working on. So these are some books that I've added to iTunes already. Um, so the easiest way to do it is to have a finder window open and just drag and drop into the library and it'll bring it into books. So some of them it goes and gets cover art and some of it doesn't. Um, you can see it also puts audiobooks down here. So I don't have that many. Um, so let's see, I got Pilgrim's Progress, which is a classic book. Um, and of course, if you click on it, it doesn't do anything. Um, I wish it did, but you're only going to be able to look at these on your iPad. Um, you could also bring these into Stanza if you wanted on your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Um, so I've got pa something from Pascal, um, something from H.G. Wells, Robert Louis Stevenson, Fox's Book of Martyrs. Martyrs isn't something I really know that much about um, in my, you know, I'm a Christian. And uh, here, you know, it's, there's been so many martyrs in such and such period. But this is a old old book, I think from 1560 or something like that, about uh, all kinds of different martyrs that died before then. Um, so the other thing that I did to get ready was I went into apps. So on my iPhone, they're all up to date. Um, but here there were 51 updates ready to go. So um, I went ahead and updated everything. So at least as of Wednesday, I have the most recent versions of everything. And I won't be able to choose what um, what's going to go on my iPad until I actually get it and plug it in. Now, huh, I swear the first time I looked at this page, there was an extra section up here that said iPhone, iP iPod, and iPad. And all it had in it was Stanza. So apparently, Stanza is a universal app that has both the iPhone and the iPad versions embedded in one file. Um, where that went, I don't know. Obviously, these old iPod games are defunct unless you have an old iPod, which I still do. Um, 
let's see, what else did I do? I went into iTunes U and got some new, what the heck, where's my mouse? There we go. I went in and got some more iTunes U files. So I'm going to, when I hook it up, I'm going to sync this MIT world stuff. Um, if we go in here, I actually work with uh, neurologists and neurosurgeons and oh, of course it's not there. I am going to go get it. Um, they had a really, the most recent video that they had was um, about deep brain stimulation. So I went ahead and downloaded that, but looks like we have to do it again. So this is from MIT, very cool. And Dr. Lozano is one of the big cheeses in deep brain stimulation for sure. So I'm gonna download that and that's gonna be cool to watch since, uh, oh, maybe it wasn't the most, oh, they put a bunch on the same day, 325, wow. Okay, so we got iTunes U. I, updated all my podcasts. I got rid of some that I really aren't, I'm really not listening to or watching right now. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest subscribing to some video podcasts um, that you can watch on your iPad. Um, Techzilla is a great one. Um, it looks like I haven't been watching it, but really I have been, but they put out daily episodes and I usually don't watch those. Lastly is TV shows. I've been trying to build up um, both the stuff that I actually bought off of iTunes and the stuff that I've been ripping from my own DVDs. So like I bought Stargate SG-1 Season 10 on iTunes, um, but I've been ripping s different episodes from different seasons, and then you have to go in and edit the... Um, iTunes information on these files pretty heavily to get them to show up in seasons like this but once you do it's really cool so I've got seven episodes of season one in there ready to go and so I'll, I'll probably sync a few of these uh, TV shows to that and that's about it um, I'm probably gonna play with my playlist a little bit uh, narrow them down refine it a little bit but really, I'm just looking forward to the apps. And at the end of this video, I'm going to link to several unboxing videos that are already out from people who got review units like Andy and Notco. And so check those links at the end. And thank you very much. See you on Saturday.